Hey everybody, so in our previous video we had talked about making your PS4 download speeds a whole lot faster whether you're on Wi-Fi or on LAN cable. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to make your NAT type from 3 to 2 and as it shows that it's NAT type 2. We're going to pretend it's NAT type 3. NAT type 3 means that you are having issues with the internet or that you're not able to connect or there's just something that's not good and these are the proper steps of how to take care of that NAT type and to put it down to two so you're able to have awesome gameplay so if you have a computer let's go ahead and use a computer if you're using a phone then so be it that's completely cool so let's go ahead and move towards our computer Okay, so first things first is, let's go ahead and um, play this here. <laughs> Please subscribe to the channel and, you know, give me a awesome, awesome likes and share this on all of your social media and whatnot. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on now. Um, let's minimize out of this. So I've port forward some other stuff, but however, we are using a DDWRT modded router now if you have a linksys netgear tp link uh d link uh or even if you have the comcast xfinity uh if you have CenturyLink, and so on and so forth i will leave links down in the description because i do have other videos of products that i've covered a basis on so i don't want to leave you guys stranded because i know there's many manufacturers many models out there so um check in the link in the description below on how to port forward okay so what we want to port forward is TCP port 80 443 1935 and 3478 through 3480 and all you gotta do is add the ports in and it's it's fairly easy just copy these and I'll leave these ports down in the um, description below so what you need to find out is what is your ps4's IP address so if we hopped back on our ps4 and let me grab my controller and we go towards our view status our view connection status it will show that my ps4 is the 192.168.1.129 now, what we want to do is, you know, give that application a name. So this is a TCP 80 and follow what it says. It's asking for the protocol. So it's TCP It's asking for the port. Then you put in 80, then you put in the, oops, let's just, let's just put in 80. Then it was a 192.168.1.129, then 80, then make sure it's enabled and follow the next um, the next, okay, that just made it disappear. I should have saved it. But following the next port forwarding um, number, which is 443, then repeat the same one, um, so forth. And if it's asking for the UDP, which it is, uh, you want to put in the 3478. Uh, so follow these ports and you'll be a okay. And then your NAT type should go from 3 to 2. Now, if you're lazy and you don't want to do this, or if this seems confusing for you, in your router, it should have a DMZ, which I don't recommend you do this because it's a security flaw. But um, if you're so fixed on having um, a simple fix, then choose the DMZ option right here. Then all you got to do is uh, make sure it's enabled. Then, you know, 192.168.1.1. Two nine, and oh, one two nine. Okay, we gotta enable that. One two nine. But I'm not. I'm not even gonna save that because I don't have a problem with my PS4. So, um, that's an also uh, option. Now there is UPnP, which it will automatically port forward things for you that it needs to be port forwarded. And all you have to do is make sure that your P or UPnP services are enabled, which most uh, routers are on by default. And um, 
it's already it's already uh, port forwarding things for me. This is on from my main computer, and these are pulling from. What service is this pulling from? Okay, I'm gonna find out what computer this is connected to. <laughs> but um, there's uh, port forwarding, then there's DMZ, then there's UPnP. Again, I know that everyone has different modems, different uh, models of modems. Uh, so if you have a Linksys, a D-Link, TP-Link, so on and so forth, uh, check the description and uh, check out that video so it shows you how to port forward, how to access your modem and whatnot. And basically, um, right here is the 192.168.1.1. Uh, if you go back on your uh, PS4, uh, if we go here... Okay, so where it says on default gateway, it says 192.168.1.1. You want to write down your default gateway number down, and you plug that number into your web browser. So where you type in facebook.com or um, google.com or whatnot, you want to plug it in those numbers. Then it'll bring you towards your router uh, or modem router website. And if it's asking for a username and password, please check on the bottom or on the side of your modem slash router, and it should have a sticker with information on it, giving you the username and password. So, um, I hope that this video was very helpful, and I hope you guys have awesome gameplay. If you guys find this video helpful, you know, subscribe, share it with all of your friends and whatnot, and uh, I will see you in the next video, and you all take care. Peace out. What's up? Yeah, I'm back on my shit again. Chasing Benjamins, run it till the very end. Yeah, every day I'm feeling great. Better than the day before, and you can see it on my face. Smiling with my glasses on, like I'm blind to all the hate. I can see all of you waving, I'm just acting like a cake.